do start this morning with breaking news. One person dead after an overnight shooting on the UCCS campus. This happened in the Family Development Center parking lot just south of Austin Bluffs. And that's where we find News 5 Sheila Gerard and who joins us with the very latest information this morning. Bri and Ira were told by police that when they got to the scene here, the victim had actually already been transported to the hospital. Now we're still working to learn how he got to the hospital, but we do know that that victim is a 19 year old male. Now take a look. Still a very active scene out here. Investigators have been working all night on this and you can see the crime scene actually spans several blocks. They have this tape um, up all the way from Regents down in the corner there to Meadow Lane. Like we mentioned, several blocks and we've seen these investigators out here over the course of the morning with flash flashlights searching this field here. They've even brought out the K9 union, K9 unit and metal detectors trying to determine exactly what happened. Now here's what we know so far. Police responded to calls of shots fired at the UCCS Family Development Center parking lot just before 10 last night. Now it's still not clear what led up to the shooting, but when police got to the scene, the victim was already transported to the hospital where he died of his injuries. It's always sad. Every death uh, is difficult for uh, you know, first responders, uh, but most importantly, it's very difficult for family members and friends uh, to lose uh, someone. So many of these deaths, and not specifically talking about this one, are just tragic events that should never happen. It's unclear if any arrests were made, but police say they are investigating this death as criminal. Right now, all individuals are accounted for, and police say there are no threats to students. So UCCS will be open today, but the Family Development Center, it is closed, and it won't reopen until tomorrow. Of course, this is an active investigation, so we're working to bring you the latest information as we learn it. Stick with News 5 today and the News 5 app for the latest. For now, watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Shayla Gerard in News 5.